She was not making eye contact, you know, when she was a baby, very, very early in her life. And uh, especially she started walking when she was kind of three years old, almost, no, two years old, very late. And, um, and her lack of, of making eye contact and having expressions is what um, triggered my family and I to think there was something going on. And I took her to a pediatrician and they said, no, no, she might be just, a, just you know, developmentally delayed. And uh, it was my sister who has experience with children and told me you have to find out a little bit more what's going on with her until I finally, you know, realized she, she and those professionals told me she was autistic. I started the stem cell in the 2010, January 2010. And uh, the, the changes, they've been uh, extremely positive and, um, and obvious. Especially um, her tantrums, they diminish. She was able to transition from one activity to another, from one place to another without throwing a tantrum. Um, and she was, um, more capable of self um, having more self control. Um, after the second treatment, I went first in January 2010, then um, June 2010, and um, I started seeing that my daughter was more into her making contact with her surroundings. It's like suddenly a veil. She had a veil. Just like walking blind around, you don't know what you're touching, and suddenly that veil went up. And I can see in her expression that everything was, wow, you know, what's, you know, experiencing her surroundings and having, just be surprised and happy and um, wanting to be with her friends. And I see that also had her social interaction improve. Because, there, you know, before she was very isolated, is part of the condition, and, um, after her second treatment and she went back to school uh, she's in pre-k in a special in a special room for with kids with you know mild disabilities um, you know she, for the first time she was able to do her show and tell and she is she was six and two six years old and two months old when she was first able to do her show and tell, something they do when, what they're for in school. And it was not elaborate, but she stood up in front of her class and says, well, you know, I'm Paulina and this is my toy. And that's it, that's the only thing she did and said, but you know, the, the, parent, the teachers were very, very happily surprised to, to see that improvement and also her wanting to be with children. You know, she cannot, you know, she couldn't, before she was always by herself in the computer, and now when I have children come into my house, she, at least she wants to be part of the group. And she imitates what they do. If they jump, they wanna jump. If they go to the trampoline, she wants to go to the trampoline. And she, she wants to be part of the group. She doesn't get annoyed being surrounded by other children. She welcomes them. And um, that's, uh, was, that was very positive to see. Um, what else? Her speech, which was badly impaired, it's coming through. Very little, but it's coming through. She, if she, whenever she wants to express herself, whatever she wants or thinks, if she, when she wants to, she'll express it. So that was another difference. My experience with the doctors were they're professionals. And um, I'm from Puerto Rico, and I, I know coming from a, a country outside of the US that you know people are skeptical, but these doctors are trained and they study in the United States, so you, you know it's like the, the, they're, they're trained in the US, so you, you get that level of quality and, and seriousness and professionalism. So it was like, you, you don't, 
it, it's nothing rare. It's normal. It's 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 like the same um, specifications they follow here. You can see them there, and the ho the the hospital is brand new, and it's it's nothing to be scared. Uh, I um, I encourage it a lot. Um, I mean, I, I I'm working with this treatment for my daughter. I'm looking forward for more. I'm going back to my fourth, and I think I'll, I'll live with a booster. I don't know for how many other years, and I want more improvement. Every you know, with 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 time, I see improve improvement. I I you know, I know there's still more to restore neurologically, but you know, that's the place where I'm going, and I, I fully encourage it. I tried many options, natural options, OT, speech, which I think are necessary, but when your brain is not functioning properly, there's so much information that goes there, and there's, there's you know, the, the improvement in their behavior and their speech is it's very little. Until you don't fix, you know, their, their brain, there's, there's not much you're gonna get in return. So I think it should be evaluated, put um, parents, they should budget for that type of treatment and they should commit for several trips because in, in the case of autism, it's not like a one, two trip. I, I, you know, I always say the truth. And uh, but I, 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 see it, I see the improvement in my daughter. And at one time I had, I had no hopes and I now, you know, I have hopes she'll be independent in the future and she'll still pro progress. Um, I, I see it as a natural also a way of healing because it's all, you know, cells mm -hmm. and um, it's not chemical, it's totally natural, so uh, no, you shouldn't be scared. <laughs>